once forged. Once forged. In the event that our, and I quote, promised heap of adamantite falls right out of this bloody sky and into my lap, Master Kokhal wishes to be ready to put the proverbial hammer to anvil at a moment's notice. To fabricate these parts, however, he needs the flames in Kokhal's forge to burn hotter. He sent me to increase the amount of ether being funneled to its, uh, uh, his furnaces. The flow of fire-respected ether in Labyrinthos is regulated by an elemental reactor south of here, to which I have borrowed the key. The adjustment will require two people to carry out safely, but I can explain the process when we arrive. This is where we part, then. We'll see you in Charlayan Hamlet once the adamantite arrives, if not before. Daughters. This way, then. I know this is not what they're doing, but I love elemental forges. Mm. When you bind an elemental, you know, I mean, probably one of the more famous examples is Howl's Moving Castle. I had one of them, but just a, a motif I always love. I remember very little of that movie. Graha, what say you? The reactor is housed within this facility. I'll be the one to go inside and adjust the fire ether output. When I do, a rather large amount of water aspect of ether will issue from the vent at the top. I expect this to attract at least a few elementals, which we would both rather not be drawn into the reactor itself. Trust me. Can I ask that you put down any that draw too near? They'll pose you a little trouble, I'm sure. Wait here, if you would. Little Trouble is my middle name. Oh my god, that's a lot of cars. Why did all the cars just spawn? Wait, what? What? Oh, I, Jesus I, right? Christ! Did, like, we just rode up here. We all, like, phased in the next... Oh. I guess we unlock something. Put all a right. bell on you. Let's get on this Asian destination. A realm reborn called at once its destination back. I guess I'll put on a grip for my homie. Thank you. Very kind. I guess I'll buff you. Shame. But, you know, they didn't do nothing wrong. They're just attracted to it. After this music, I'm ready to oh. kill everything oh, in Labyrinthos. <laughs> the music is action. You are action. I demand blood. <laughs> Did everything go smoothly out here? I thought as much. No major complications to speak of inside, either. and the water ether appears to be venting properly. I expect Coco will have seen a difference in his forged flames by the time I return. Since I have you, there was another matter I wish to dis I thought to discuss oh? with you. Nothing terribly important, merely something I have been considering. Oh? Part of this I shared with everyone. Yet you, and only you, have been to Elpis. Here we go. Finally, is someone going to give someone a shit that cares. we went to Elpis? As we have established, refined adamantite is a product of Alug, of the Empire's twilight years, in fact. It was a material which saw much use as part of the Alugans' efforts to extend beyond the bounds of this world. Delamud, of course, being the most prominent. Of course, who would push further? Expand Alex's empire to encompass the heavens and the stars above. Perhaps the greatest was its infamous technologist, Amon. Oh, I'm going with the bottom one. Yeah, the bottom one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I believe he had his own reasons. There is no evidence to suggest that he retained memories of his former life. I know that's the technical answer, but, you know. He only joined the Asians once the Empire was all but dust, as you know. <laughs> I feel like it just got corrected. Per my last email. <laughs> 
If not this memory, though, what drove him to pursue the idea with such fervor? Well, that's why we're asking, Graha. Why are you being such a correcti correcting Nancy? This may seem far-fetched, but what if souls, like minds, have a personality, so to speak? A natural disposition toward which they are inclined. But his thesis was on Alex, so yeah, he would correct mm. us. We know with relative certainty that it was the gross decadence and in, in, uh, inexorable decline of Alec that moved Amon to resurrect Emperor Zandi. The Empire's people spoke lightly of death and destruction, experimenting on those they deemed beneath them to fill the emptiness in their hearts. Judgment call. In facilitating Zande's return, Amon provided these languid souls with the means to free themselves from the mire of their own indolence. Or would have. Had not Zande been convinced by his own death that life itself was meaningless. Amon's desire for his countrymen to conquer the heavens could only be a means to the same end to instill the people with new purpose. Like Hermes before him, Amon was appalled by, tho uh, by how those around him lived, but could never bring himself to believe that those lives were devoid of meaning. And both of them sought that meaning, that hope, in the distant stars. <laughs> Such is my theory, anyway. <laughs> I've been hanging out with Yishtola. Hmm. Hmm. Let's let him finish. Ultimately, it is the consequences of their actions which matter. Their motives are of no moment. And yet, to reach those stars on wings of adamantite, to travel to the ends of creation and beyond, the promise of hope everlasting, that much I do understand. But enough music for now. Why don't we see how Kokol is getting on? Okay, cutie. If you say so. Right? All right. If you're done clipping, uh, let your thought rip. I know you've got one. Oh, I'm just, uh, you know, I, I thought everyone loved Graha, but he was just, you know, giving a little bit of Hermes morally gray there, laying it down. That's just a theory, but, you know, I, it, I think it was kind of, you know, morally gray. So, I think we can unven diagram people who love Grahatia and people who hate Hermes. We do not intersect. Uh, well, Otherwise, I'm, I'm, they have I'm to agree. I'm certain no one out there loves Graha but hates Hermes. No, yeah, but it's been, it's so been disproven. You need to say your take in a way that can be clipped and make people mad so they watch our videos. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. It had too much reason what leading Kyle up to it. What Kyle is saying yes. is that if you like Graha, you're not allowed to hate Hermes. Exactly. That's what Kyle's saying. He's saying everybody that hates Hermes and doesn't like Graha is disagreeing or, or with their does husband. like Graha. Yeah. Actually like misread the story. That's what Kyle's saying. Kyle right. is saying you yes. misread the story. Yep. That's it. That's what's going on. What if I think he's mid? Uh, I applaud you for being brave enough to say that in chat, <laughs> Griffcat. I applaud your bravery. <laughs> the all-arounder? Mid? <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. It might have been about Hermes. Oh. Griffcat did not specify. Oh, that's true. <laughs> what if I love to hate Hermes? There we go. I can always get behind that. I do. I do enjoy love to hate. Yes. I J Jason Isaacs in anything he's ever played. I love to hate that man. He's so good at it. Mm. All right, Coco. Let's get it out. Oh, was that me? I think I was Coco. I don't or remember. Coco yeah, you do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you got it. Oh, you no, you it. were doing it because you were trying to do the the, the, the British accent. Oh, my God. Right yeah, there. I was trying to like add the you Witcher because I was trying to. You were getting into it. You were. I was trying to oil witch ya. Uh, oh, I was trying oh, to witch. Witch. Oh, witch ya. You, you going to take care of that Griffin yeah. for us? Get your padded armor. You want to play some Gwent? <laughs> good. That was good. 
I can feel those flames a blazing from here. I'm sorry. I thought you were doing I, the oil. I don't, oil with you. I don't remember where I was. Was I? <laughs> I don't remember. Glad you found someone capable, Graha. <laughs> but there's not much left or a lot to do. Unless you can conjure up some of that refined animantite any faster. Please be a voice cutscene real fast. You're killing me over there, man. Because I'm struggling. I do trust you to deliver your promise. I do. Only, I hate waiting. I want that animantite and I want it now. We uh, share your impatience, I assure you. Is there something wrong with your voice? I is there truly nothing else we can assist with in the meantime? I wish. It's sitting about unbearably. Pity the forum. Frowns on a what? What I do wrong? Recreation that whole explosions. Thing. What? <laughs> this? Just, I'm just. Just don't. Well, don't worry so long it. as they can't prove it was premeditated, get you gone. I've mistakes to make. <laughs> you made me laugh again, and I accidentally clicked. That is a. Oh, I'm keeping that. It's like right there in the pocket. Be gone, you. I got mistakes to make. <laughs> Sometimes I am incapable of doing what I came here to do sitting next to this man. In that case, I suppose I should go and return the key to the reactor. I'll have one more look to make sure that nothing has gone wrong, unintentionally or otherwise. I'm certain there are better uses for your time, however. I will join you in Charlie and Hamlet and all. Oh, he's so downtrodden. Look at him. Oh, he's okay now. He's fine. Cross is over. He's okay. He's fine. And a smoke rising from the bit of behind me will be entirely unrelated to what I didn't say. Got it. Damn. Okay. Sketchy. All set, I take it. I'm very sweaty after the music. Ah, How are you go. doing? Are you ready? I'm ready. First of the evening, so if you have a three, two, one, go emote, let it fly. But Kyle, three, two, one, go. We finished what we could, delivered supplies, tracked down escaped animals, trivial tasks as they may be. Wish I could pull off bangs. That's enough, don't you think? If there was anything more important still undone, that would be a problem in itself. The vessel is essentially ready for departure. All that remains is to load the final batch of supplies and see everyone on board. Once we've readied the ether burner, that is. Ah, had a feeling we might find you all here. Here? Yeah. Our consultations with the Loperets, too, have run their course. Pleased I am to say that our researchers' concerns have for the most part been allayed, though some insist on making adjustments to the very end. For their part, Livingway and her peers have graciously offered to stay and keep the people company, lest any lingering queries go unanswered. I love that All for All that you, remains Roger. is to wait for the refined adamantite. Alphano, are you there? It's me, Cryo. Finally. Your special delivery has arrived. Round up everyone and come to the harbor at once. Miss you so much. Okay, harbor. Maybe you'll still get your Merle Web moment. They made me speak of the devil. Let us go at once. Oh, confirmed. Cryo. Cryo's they, the devil. Cryo, they made me hang out with the Loperates for like three hours. Cryo, please. Cryo, please make something cool happen. Why is the room evil? Oh, no, no, it's just from Oh, that's maybe a little evil. Forgive the intrusion, Master Fortuna. I bring urgent news. A great commotion has broken out in Scholar's Harbor. Your presence is requested with all speed. Come quickly. Your, your son is being awesome. You must see it. <laughs> now, where might this delivery be? 
What's the delivery? Well, this would be the all the animantite writing. Oh, right? okay. You know, all the nations of the world pulling up. Maybe big hey, Zelda. It's Zelda. That's a lot of boxes. Yeah. It's okay. Oh, all our friends are here. Exactly. Nice. It's Zelda. It's okay. I know. I know. You don't I'm like sure it when you hear it. Oh, and there's the. But we yeah, cannot the accept these without the proper permits. By the twelve, surely these can't all be. Yeah, Sky Pirates! Hell yeah! <laughs> I love their raids so much. Bleeding hellfire! They're bringing them by sea and by air. All these folks in these crates. And more on the way. You've got your adamantite right here. A bigger haul than any of these sorry bastards brought, and that's no lie. <laughs> that is not who I want my father to meet while I'm trying to be impressive. Yes, because you were charged these with seeing two. the shipments from Gridania <laughs> and Uldar <laughs> yes. here. Yes, both of them. With your own. Give credit where credit is due. Tweedledee and Tweedledum like ass. a sorry region of a sore loser. An hypocrite to boot. Ain't no way a scrawny whelp like you took a dozen steps inside a Dalaman shard. I'll have you know I went all the way to the entrance. <laughs> and furthermore, it was my contacts that enabled us to enlist the cooperation of the Sky Pirates. We like the two comedy release pi relief pirates in Pirates Left of the Caribbean. Left outside so you wouldn't get anyone killed, did they? Well then, credit where credit's due, you did a right fine job sitting on your ass. Take that back. <laughs> Make me. I will not stick to your level. My, what a grand welcome party. Hello, buddy. Hancock and Sarabon. We come bearing relics both sacred and elegant, as well as a few other gifts that may be of help, to be presented with best wishes from the Eastern Alliance. Ooh. Good soul. Our friends in Bosnia, for instance, have sent along a few artifacts for the brave allies of the resistance. That's you. I myself have come with a sacred relic of race and temple. Twas passing fortunate that Senri's dango craving brought us to Kugane. We arrived precisely as Hancock was making How did his you arrangements. Hey folks, it's a Boja stream. Upon learning of your need, <laughs> we made haste back to Hell's Lid with our Dango, never fear, and consulted with the other auspices. All consented to the lending of Tenzin's legendary Phoenix Blade for this noble cause. Oh shit, is that what that is? Suzaku and Seiryu were nevertheless worried that it might be lost in transit, however. Oh, we have a ton of custom voice dialogue because of all the shit we did. That'd be cool, right? Where I had intended to entrust it to our Confederate allies. I thought instead... Yes? To give it would oh be my pretty God. confusing if they were, like, going this hard on Tenzin. Again. But alas, Seiryu remained ill at ease and ordered me see the blade into your hands personally. Or die trying. That freaking rules! We did, of course, need quite the impressive vessel to get it all here what in time. What am I talking about? <laughs> this freaking slaps. Fortunately, our majestic associates have been more than helpful. It is an honor to join the Warrior of Light on another adventure, they tell me. That is all wonderful to hear. But what of the extraordinary cost? I shudder to think of the ransom we must pay for such a bounty. <laughs> Fret not for your coin purse, young Alphano. Lord Lollarito looks ever towards the profits of the future, and thus the East Organar Trading Company went to some lengths to reduce the financial liability. And since the Scions funded the entire venture, not a gill need be rendered up in compensation. Everything is already yours. We funded the venture. When? 
<laughs> Don't let the name fool you. This coin keeper knows a thing or two about spending. <laughs> When it comes to capital investiture, a sprinkling of gill here and there will not do. You need enough savings to make waves when it really counts, which is why frugality is paramount. She's so proud of herself. We also have the benefit of a generous patron. Generous being rather an understatement. She has supported us from the shadows since the very founding of the Scions. Yeah, we even had coffers to fill. Oh, oh snap. yeah. Mother. That's a cool revelation. <laughs> yes. I remain, of course, Get an wrecked, entirely you know. neutral party. I simply thought our family's coffers were needlessly full. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can hardly take them with us on your teeny tiny toy boat now, can we? And would be a shame to leave all that hard-earned wealth unspent. Damn. This is the best mom and dad fight I've ever seen. Waste not. not. <laughs> <laughs> They're adorable. And they own Fortuna. This rules. However, did you manage so much in so short a time, though? We expected word to reach only a fraction of our allies. Did I not tell you I have my ways? Erinville, you were involved too. I received a letter from Cryon after we parted ways in Labyrinthos. Hell yeah, buddy. She explained what the science were trying to accomplish. Why you might soon require the services of the gleaners, spread across the world as we are. I pray you do not interpret this as a betrayal of Charlotte. I accept that the form's aim in pushing us to our limits was to preserve what knowledge we have, and I bear you no ill will for it. Yet, in collecting that knowledge, what I came to appreciate most about our star is that there remains so much we do not know. That is why I chose to help the Scions, to combat the obliteration of those countless, undiscovered wonders. I held no illusions that they would be less demanding taskmasters. Though, rest assured, if I had, I would have been sorely disappointed. To make a long story short, the whole of the guildship cooperated to ensure your call was heard far and wide. Oh my... Ah, finally! Nero's here. <laughs> What's this about a ship that can fly to the moon? We were gonna pilot a <laughs> ship without Nero. <laughs> and why didn't you mention it sooner? The one time you don't beg my aid, your problem's a bloody ship that can fly to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> See it. You brought the team. Oh, this is fantastic. Of course. Garland Ironworks finest. You need only point us towards my new favorite ship. He did the, the, the glasses oh, thing that you love so much. I nearly forgot. <laughs> we stopped by Whirlit before coming here and picked up a package from Gaius. All right. Everyone loves Gaius's People package. He's of the mind that actions make for better <laughs> penance than words contrite or otherwise so we offer none of the latter <laughs> what he sent is an elegant relic valens used in his weapons experiments has a fair bit of refined adamantite in it too hmm. freaking use all the extra shit we did i love it as you like as not suspect we've also brought adamantite for mordona's dalamud shard I admit to some consternation upon first receiving Kral's message. So few Scions remain at the Rising Stones now. Far too few for such an expedition. However, the Gleaners were able to secure us reinforcements. Idlesha's treasure hunters, not least among them. I know. 
Ah, the gobby flop fault. Every part of the story Slowfix's gratitude Buffalo. for the safe return of his daughter has not waned. And he gathered his kin to our side with an astounding quickness. The clash between their machina and the elegant defenses was a sight to behold. I'll wager even you would have been impressed by the magnitude of the gobby booms. <laughs> the gobby booms. Fascinating as all this is, I fail to see how it explains your presence here. Does Razat Han not have more pressing concerns? President Dragon. We do. Yet averting the final days would be the most expedient solution. That, and I am indebted to you. Though they chose to take their leave of Thavne, those you saved in Galimund remain my people. My gratitude is beyond words. Tis appropriate that I aid you in kind. If in the doing we bring salvation to others of this star, so much the better. You will recall that I spoke of my father, Midgard Sumer, and his journey across the great expanse. As he traveled betwixt the stars, his resplendent scales drank of the ether in those nigh empty surrounds and imparted to him the strength to persevere. Thinking they might further your cause, I called out to my kin for consent. Ashdaya's answer was silence, as ever. Tiamat and Chris Velgre, however, responded favorably to the suggestion. My sire, too, stirred from his slumber long enough to speak and say, Very well. Thus have I brought you his own worm scales. Fit them to your purpose, and seek a worthier fate for us all. I got dragon friends. You'd be hard pressed to find someone else so familiar with the unique properties of dragon scales. So I invited myself along. Look at me, this is so unbelievable. I've gone right back round to believing it again. Forget a 6% gain in efficiency. Of all these goodies, we could get seven. No, ten, no, fourteen bleeding percent. <gasps> fourteen. Think of how far we could go. What we could do with that much power. What we could blow up. It's, Kokol is rapidly ascending my favorite is character. If Kokol duly convinced, list. then it must be true. In which case, the Scion's end of the bargain has been fulfilled. Would you not agree? <laughs> yes, Father? I know not what you seek of Hydaelyn, nor for what purpose you would take command of our ship. Yet this much is certain. To do so will be to dictate the fate of this star and the lives upon it. The lives of each and every creature, in their magnitude and their fragility. Do you understand? And are you prepared? We have seen and we have felt how much each life shapes this world. And so we are determined to abandon none. We understand what is at stake. And we are prepared to bear this burden. <sighs> then I... I will bear it with you. 
I beg you, share your struggles with me as family. You grasped my fingers with such tiny hands the day you were born. Oh, no. Well, I thought my heart might burst. Hitting Kyle in no. the head. It was love and happiness beyond. Oh, expression. God, I'm a dad. <laughs> Overwhelming. And a conviction so powerful that I trembled with something close to rage. I had heard the final days foretold. I swore to myself then and there that I would not let them steal your futures. The great exodus would succeed, must succeed. No sacrifice or sin was worse than the alternative. If anything gave me pause, it was mine own father. The Archon Louisois openly decried Charlien's policies, a perspective which I regarded with increasing disdain as I grew older. Yet even as part of me thought him a fool, perhaps I also hoped that he, of all people, would devise a brilliant means to save my children. A naive hope, but stubborn enough that I could never bring myself to keep you apart. No, that was his doing, when he perished at Cartano. As we pulled that twisted slab of Dalamud from the sea, I remembered the warmth of your newborn touch. Chastened, I vowed never again to suffer any interference in my mission to protect you. No matter that you yourselves wished otherwise. Detest me, fight me tooth and nail. I would suffer it, and more, and be satisfied so long as I could force you onto the ship. <laughs> I was wrong. You two have grown so much stronger and so much wiser than I dared dream. You have earned the right to walk your own path, and already begun to do so. Good. Because there are things we care about, and people we love, and none of them is replaceable. Not a one. It cannot have been an easy journey for you to have come so far. We shall be glad to acquaint you with the finer details someday, once this danger has passed. All that we have seen and heard, that we have felt and learned in our travels. Ours is not a kind world, but it is beautiful. Always. Oh no. Are you quite sure that's wise? After all, someone turns pale and flees the room when he sees so much as an envelope containing word of your adventures. Whatever will happen if he learns what you were really up to. A millions. Accomplish a lot with the. Though I have wronged my game. children most gravely, I owe you an apology as well. I assumed that it was the Scion's influence that made them so keen to charge headlong into danger. Yours, in particular. <laughs> I see now that. Said influence instead brought them together with the many fine people gathered here today. In which case, I hope you continue to guide them.
If we finish loitering about the harbor, might I suggest we put our plans into motion? People are beginning to look confused. Perhaps you can spare a few words ere they resume the tedious lugging of cargo. You have no small number of friends and admirers here, after all. No, stop the camera before a mandolin's there. Ah. <laughs> 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 It's me! <laughs> I like to imply everyone is strong. Lend us your strength. Three, nah, that's true. You ready? Nah, yeah. You can go with whatever you want. Nah, I probably didn't matter. I'm going to do with me. Three, two, one, go. This is quite the payoff. Your assistance is appreciated. Now, in an orderly fashion, if you please. I, I get it now. What do you get? I get it. What do you get? I get why so many people Harshly accused us of stalling when we did side content in between expansions. Oh, oh, they I, I see. You're doing a bit. Didn't think we were yes. worthy of having the best ending. Ah. They didn't want us to have the best ending. Surely there's something we missed. There's got to be. I don't know. One person in the background looked like they were generic. I'm like, I don't know. Maybe that's a job maybe quest. They, yeah, replace do, or, job quest or guy beast, or beast drives. Oh, Eureka. I bet. I bet. Okay, there's a, if we finish oh. Eureka. Yeah, yeah, we missed out big. Ah, oh, rip. The angry Lalafell would have been there not so angry. I wanted to do more Eureka, too. Yeah, true. I wanted to do more Eureka. Yeah, oh, and the fish, yeah. The Real. Matsu would have been there with just arms full of money. But no, sadly, couldn't <laughs> afford to make it. Gotta give a shout out to Palaya. It's all the fish. Palaya supered to all five of us who always liked Fortuno. We did it, fam. We finally got here. <laughs> That was, um, that was terrible. Uh, they needed me to give me a minute. Like, so, so when you make a play, when you make a comedy, you gotta pause so the audience can laugh. I am like stuck. I'm in pain. Do you want some tissues? No, but I was like, I was like, oh my God, dad's done. And then he just go, and then he just lures. And I'm like, I need to pay attention. Oh, yeah. And he's like, <laughs> just like, mm, never, no, never mind. As soon, never mind. As soon as he talked about Dude, the, finger the fingers, thing. it's so the, the size of their hands and a single so finger, I was like, magical. this is wrecking my friend. It's so stupid. You're and just like, oh, oh. it was a delight to get to watch like a complete <laughs> weirdo next to you. It was an absolute play back the tape. You can see the point where I, I was. I just was like, it was good. I can hear this. What's happening here. I don't want to miss. Well, I can rewatch that cutscene. Structure wise. They did an excellent thing by having mom be the funder because then it's completely <laughs> irreversible. Funder. Yeah. She, well, she funded a lot. Of oh, the, I thought you were like, instead of bringing the thunder, she was bringing the fun. The, the funder. Yeah. Der. Uh, she's the fun parent. Wow, that would be a quite the that'd be a dad. All right, Kyle, let's there. bring the funder. The funder, it's time to bring the funder. No, no, she she you know funded the so therefore it was his coffers that were paying for the thing. So he was like super backwards invested, and it was a nice little touch of like you can't say no now. Though uh, he still kind of has good reason to be mad at his dad because his dad did try to kill his kids eventually. Yes. As a ghost. Well. Full of the hopes and prayers of he, most people. He appeared <laughs> and, a, and a, like was sweet again. It's not like he. Yeah. And wasn't in full But technically control. he brought them together because they weren't really, you know, like palling around, you know. Y yeah. No, no. Like you should still thank grandpa. So maybe maybe it does work out. Maybe no, you still have to thank grandpa. Maybe we should forgive grandpa. We end. should forgive grandpa. Just don't pray to him. Yes. Do not pray Either to grandpa. Way, edit that out of the story when you tell him that someday. Because then he'll be mad at his dad again. Mm. 
and we want this to be a, a family moment. <laughs> uh, I loved that. That that was that. Was, I needed that from Fortuno, and I'm glad that I got to have just a little moment of ownage before he was sweet. If if he if he finally connected on the level that I wanted, which was what which happened, but we he didn't at least get a, a small ration of shit. Before that, I think oh, I still yeah. would have been... I personally would have been grumpy just because of how much I was uh, 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 narratively triggered by him disowning his kids. That that really pissed me off. That, that was almost on Ilbert levels of me not liking this character. Um, yeah, I can see that. And so so it was... To me, it was like... They, because they had that little nugget of... Uh, um, 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 Emilians, I have such a hard time pronouncing her name, the mother. Um, but they had that little nugget of her being like, yeah, I've been funding them the whole time, and for and just getting the payoff of Fortuno deflating, learning that. That was that was already enough payoff for me, so that I, I was like, all right, my, my Fortuno anger is enough out of the way that I can enjoy this touching scene. So, like, it was... That was just great, man. I think he... It was an acknowledgement in front of his kids because his previous, previously his kids were too busy to notice. So it needed to happen again. What do you mean too busy to notice? Too busy to notice Because the real ownage happened when he sat there like a doofus doing nothing while his son called everybody Oh, on the well, yes. That was the real, well, like, it, sit in the corner. Well, that's man. the thing. Is it, it's not. It wasn't really a payoff because no one noticed. Yeah, exactly. No, no one was there to so, witness his, his his. But as an audience member, that was the true mo- moment of like, shut well, up. Well, I'm glad I had you. I'm glad that I got to hear Kyle go. Yeah, fortune of watch your son be awesome. Yeah. Like. Um, yeah. But but that was that was better and all like. Um, also, I, I I was I was wondering. I was wondering when people were like all about Emilianz when she first showed up. And I was like, I don't know. All, all she really did was like give her son a gun and, and say, don't tell Fortuno Fortnite. Fine, Fortnite. or, the, or the, the, the freaking servants will get it. And I'm like, oh, maybe you should stand up to him about how he treats the servants. Um, so I wasn't all on board and everyone's like, no, how could you dare? And it's like, y'all are working with future knowledge, yeah. this future knowledge. I know what y'all are doing now. No, I know you're not what y'all wrong. Are doing I, now. I, I see you calling out. That's some meta knowledge. There's been a lot of future knowledge clapback in our playthrough of this game. Yes. And I'm a little sensitive to it. No, and I, I agree with you because, yes, when she was she was being a little rude there, too. I went, to the I went on a journey with these characters. Yeah. Let me yeah. go on this journey with these characters. But they were, now we know they were helping keep the secret, like, like yeah. you know, moving the papers around and whatnot, so I get it. Yes. I get it. Yes. Yes. So, but, um, yeah. No, I get it now. That was rad. That was freaking rad. Everything about that cutscene was rad. Um, no Merle Web, though. This wasn't about Merle Web. This, this was about... There were two people got owned in that scene. Fortuno and me. I got owned, Kyle. Why? Because my whole time I've been going, none of the raids matter for the MSQ. Oh. None of them matter except for Eden. Yeah. None of them. They're all barely, like, almost not at all involved in the main story of Final Fantasy XIV. I mean, Alpha even showed up, too. Yeah. And the Mini Omega. There isn't a world where Sid and Nero don't show up, right? Because they... They they, have to show up. Yeah, because they're talking about pilot on the ship. Yeah. I mean, if I have one bummer, it's that Nero didn't have a voice line. I know. He should have just at least, like, slap Slid on the butt or something. (laughs) (laughs) Go get him, Tiger. You got your favorite eye... Glass push-up. Yeah, he did. He did. He did push-up. Yeah, yeah. Push-up his glasses there.